I want to write the equation of these two graphs. The top one is I'm defining as s of x, which is the success rate. S of, s of x, I uh, have to use a different color. S of x stands for the success rate in problem solving. Suppose let's say that is the success rate of problem solving. And w of x stands for the energy in watts. So a human body uh, follows this rhythm called a cir uh, circadian rhythm. Okay, so this is a circadian rhythm for the, the top one is for the success rate and W is for the energy. Okay, uh, watt, which is a unit of energy. So basically we want to find when is the best time to problem to solve a complicated problem for a particular per person. So for that, so let's write the equation of this graph and this graph. So for s of x, let's first look at the period. Well, you, you know half the period from the maximum and minimum. So you, they are starting at 6, 6 a.m. This is 6 p.m. Okay, so this is, of course, I didn't say this is time since midnight. So this is time since midnight. So time since midnight. 6 stands for 6 a.m. Okay, so this is 6 a.m. and this is 6 p.m. So half a cycle is uh, half a cycle is 12 hours, so this whole one period is 24 hours. The maximum is what? The maximum is 2.30, so this is 2.30 and the minimum is how much is the minimum? The minimum is 170. Now from this two, you can write the baseline and the amplitude. So the baseline is the average of this two, which is how much? 400, so average is 200. So this is the baseline basically. Can you see this? If you draw a line through 200, that's the baseline. And the amplitude is the distance from maximum to baseline. So 230 to 200 or 200 to 230 amplitude is 30. And let's decide the starting point. So if you say this is the starting point, say SP, the starting point is 6. So I have made up one formula which is like this. Y is equal to the amplitude times sine or cos. Now if you're starting from the baseline, sorry, if you're starting from the minimum and you're going up, so it's a negative cos graph. So it will be, uh, so let me directly write the equation and then I'll explain the formula. So y is equal to amplitude. First write the amplitude which is 30 times the type of graph. The type of graph is negative cos, so this is negative cos times, let me drag this to this side, times 2 pi divided by the period. What's the period? The period is 24 times x, it can be x or t, x minus the starting point. The starting point is 6, so you write 6 there, close the bracket, plus the baseline, which is 200. So you have to do a bit of simplifying. So y is equal to, this is 30 times negative is minus 30 cos. This is pi by 12 times x. Pi by 12 minus, uh, times x minus 6 plus 200. So to enter this in the calculator, you should write like this. So you should enter like this. So this is minus 30 cos. This is pi by 12x. And entering on the calculator, you should enter like this. Pi x divided by 12 minus 6 pi divided by 12. 
six pi divided by twelve plus two hundred. This will give you the perfect graph on a graphic calculator. Okay, so let me get my calculator and drag this to this side so that I can see. Okay, so go to graph. It should be first check your settings. It should be in radians. Okay, that's fine. So this is minus 30 cos bracket shift pi x divided by 12 minus 6 shift pi divided by 12 close the bracket plus 200. I need to change the scale so shift so to see the scale shift F3 shift F3 I'll go from 0 to 25 step of 1 is fine and on Y I'll go from 0 to 240 step of 10 would do and then draw the graph so this is the graph so GSOL Y intercept so when it is 0 hours it is 200 so let me show you that so this is 0 200 okay and then GSOL the minimum at 6 a.m. you got the minimum energy or success rate in solving and this is 6 p.m. when you get the maximum solving ability okay so this is maximum so uh, we have confirmed the graph so now we need to write the equation of the blue graph so let me use a blue color okay so we'll do it quickly now this is for w of x okay so what's the period the period is first look at the half the period the half the period is 9 to this is 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. so 10 11 12 1 to 6 hours so one period is 12 hours here okay so half a period is 6 hours so within 24 hours you got two cycles can you see this is 24 this is two full cycles from here so this is uh, starting 12 hours so this is 12 hours so this is 10 11 12 so this is one cycle from year to year and this is the second cycle so you got one period is 12 hours so the maximum what's the maximum maximum is 90 minimum is minimum is 40 so the baseline is the average of 90 plus 30 which is 65 the amplitude is 25 am I right so why because 40 baseline to maximum is 25 65 plus 25 is 90 and let's start at uh, the maximum now if you're starting from the maximum your starting point is at 9 which implies this is going to be a positive cost graph so let me write the equation on the top so we can say W of X is equal to the amplitude what's the amplitude which is 25 and you're starting from maximum so it'll be positive cost times 2 pi divided by the period the period is 12 times x minus always x minus the starting point which is 9 close the bracket plus the baseline which is 65 now if you want to enter this on a calculator so let me write it like this so w of x would be 25 cos this is how much pi by 6 so we can say this is pi x divide by 6 minus this will be 9 pi divided by 6 9 pi divided by 6 plus the baseline which is 65 so let me delete this 
yes f1 so 25 cos bracket shift pi x divided by 6 minus 9 shift pi divided by 6 close the bracket plus 65 So let me show this. So this is your y-intercept is y-intercept is 65. So let's confirm that G sol y-intercept is 65. Your maximum is at 9 is at 9 a.m., which is 90. G sol maximum 90, and minimum would be this is 3 p.m. So this is 3 and if you press 3 plus 12 is 15 so the next minimum is 1540 okay now finally what's the question finally let's apply this in real life now when would be the best time if this is the uh, circadian rhythm of a person and you want to decide when is the best time for him to solve or him or her to solve a complicated problem well this is the best time for problem solving and if you look at this time it's this is this is 3 this is 3 p.m. and this is 6 p.m. so a time which from 3 p.m. this person's energy level is going up okay so at uh, 18 this is 16 17 18 okay so this at this point his energy level this person's energy level is going up okay and so the maximum you reach this is six seven eight nine so this is the 9 p.m. so this is the best time you can say between 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. is the best time for this person to solve the problem so because this is from here it's going down and both is going down so this is the optimum this is the time between 6 to 9 pm where a complicated problem can be solved